Welcome and thank you for rejoining. What we have here is an e-ink monitor made by Da Sun, and specifically this is their paper-like HDFT monitor. It's a third generation e-ink monitor that's about 13.3 inches and has a screen resolution of 2200 by 1650. The FT model includes a touchscreen and also an adjustable backlight. Uh, the connection that it has is USB and HDMI and serves as a second monitor. Additionally, we have uh, the mode here. When you press this button, it allows you to alternate between M1, M2, M3. And also when you hold down the, M, the mode button and use these arrow keys here on the left side, it also gives you access to additional modes as well. So what we're going to do is demonstrate a teardown of the Dasung HDFT monitor in case anybody else wants to also perform it and take a look at its components. Let's begin and open the Dasung paper-like HDFT monitor. So grab a small prying knife. I'm using an iFixit knife. And here there'll be an outer frame bezel. What you want to do is just grab your small prying knife and slowly there'll be like a small insert between the outer frame bezel and the bezel you're seeing right now. And you want to just sort of put the knife in between uh, right here and then sort of make your way across the whole frame itself. And then it comes off pretty easily. It's glued. And so once you remove that outer frame bezel, you'll have these screws that are going to be exposed. Then remove the screws and you'll have access to the panel itself. Once the screws have been removed, you can then grab the panel and slowly pull it towards you. Now do so carefully because what you're going to run into is that there are two PCBs and they're connected by this uh, ribbon cable over here and it's attached right there. So just be careful when you're lifting the panel so as to not rip the ribbon cable or do some other damage. Now that the panel has been removed and the PCB is exposed, let's take a closer look at what we have here. All right, so taking a closer look at the PCB, we see the ribbon cable from earlier that was attached to the other PCB. We're noticing that the chips model or any information has been etched off. And we also have three ribbon cables. This one here primarily is uh, the rendering logic. This is for the touch and this is for the backlight. Continuing with taking a look at the PCB from left to right, we have the two connections for the touch and also for the backlight. The chips components, again, are etched off. And what we have here on the right is this HDMI, specifically a mini HDMI connection. So let's take a look at this second PCB. The second PCB is responsible for clearing the screen adjusting the contrast, changing modes, turning on and off the backlight, and also the power. So when you first assembled this, there was a ribbon cable that was attached and the ribbon cable from the other PCB and this one are connected here. And also there's a micro USB port that's located on the right side. It's typically that's not included it for it to attach like your backlight but I've also noticed that it can be used to power the display so you don't have to use the proprietary Y cable. A small update as I was removing the panel, it became clear that this is for the e-ink touch and also backlight. Now that the panel has been removed, let's take a closer look at it. So from a quick glance, we notice that the thickness of the panel is 1.2 millimeters. It's using the TT3-T 
uh, version of the panel and also that the TF board is uh, version 11 and also its production date. We also see the three cables that we saw earlier and where they're connected and some barcodes and serial numbers that we'll take a closer look at. So taking a look at the e-ink panel itself, I noticed that it's using the ES133TT3. There are also some other serial numbers here that I wasn't quite able to identify. And there are other serial numbers, barcodes, uh, DST180-10 that I wasn't able to find too much information on. And as well, this over here, I would imagine it's probably related to something to either the backlight or the touch for each one. And the ribbon cables that attach everything, they have their own serial numbers as well, which I'll take a close look at that later and then share out. This was a teardown of the Dasung Paperlike HDFT. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you.